Hi everybody, this is Odd Samurai, and today I'm going to be reacting to Chainsaw Man chapter 146. But, but before we do that, uh, let's uh, talk about chapter 145. Because I do have some things to say that I didn't really think about in last week, so let's do that. <laughs> so first, um, yeah, we find out that they there's other church affiliated fuck facilities and they were in the tokyo kanagawa fukuoka and osaka prefectures but they're now uh, under control of public safety uh they seized their secret caches of heavy weaponry so mm, okay and then this one what about the miners with illegal contracts so, okay, I, I, I don't think this was stated before, but I could be wrong. I know that straight up just a regular civilian making a contract with the devil, that's illegal. But I didn't know, like, specifically, you know, also just a minor making a contract with the devil. That's also just illegal. So that begs the question, you know, like, how does this work? Considering, you know, Yoshida exists. And he already had a contract with the octopus devil even before, uh, you know, joining public safety. So, you know, how, how did that work, you know? How is it that that one is not illegal, but, you know, all the kids in the church are are illegal maybe because you know they're not you have to be a devil hunter to be to have a legal contract with the devil regardless of if you're an adult or a minor or you know whoever it is that is uh yoshida's parents they signed it so that uh, you know it's okay and then <clears throat> i'm not sure but that's just something i wanted to uh, make a comment on. We're returning them in the Devil Control Center. I'm not sure. I still, I'm not sure what this means. Interning them in the Devil Control Center. We've never heard of that before, right? Calling the parents establish a victims group. Yeah, to form and start a narrative. Uh, for the media, yeah, get those crying faces on camera to make the church even worse, you know, like, oh, they've been taking advantage of these poor kids, and we public safety saved them. <clears throat> I'm also uh, authorizing the capture of the war devil, aka Asamitaka, which we see at the end of the chapter. I can't leave the church's poster girl out in the wild. And this, this is this is the one that really like <laughs> confused me last time. But now I'm just like, oh, of course. Here I was hoping she'd do us a favor and turn Chainsaw Man into a weapon. <clears throat> now this, I, I was just, I was so confused because this whole time I had been, well, not necessarily, but just at that moment when I read this, I was like. I was like conflating uh, Yoshida's motivations and like goals with the goals and motivations of public safety as a whole. When like if you really think about it for for a good minute, um, yeah, they were definitely always different from the first time that Yoshida meets Denji uh, in part two. You know, I think chapter one or three. The the cafe date when he's like oh yeah i'm from an un organization blah 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 i i was sent here you know to make sure that you're happy and all that that was obviously just you know uh yoshida trying to you know like put on a cover but but at the same time i do believe that actually that was actually what yoshida wanted to do from the beginning and he was always you know um, he 
he was always trying to do the opposite of what Poly 50 wanted for Denji. Which this seems like it was always the goal to make uh, the War Devil and Denji meet and then have him turn into a weapon and then, you know, somehow get a uh, War Devil, I'm guessing, in their side. And then, you know, Chainsaw Man wouldn't be a problem that they have to worry about anymore in, in trying to control him. <clears throat> Which, you know, time and time again, Yoshida has been trying to avoid that. And once he saw that, you know, that was the case at the end of the aquarium arc. <clears throat> that's when he was like, oh yeah, I cannot keep, you know. Now that I'm sure that uh, Asa is the war devil, I have to keep her away from Denji. So that he, you know, what public safety wants with him won't come to pass and you know he can keep what what I think it is basically the peaceful life that he wants to have oh man just just give so much more um so much more depth and just paint Yoshida in a, in a much more sympathetic light uh now that we know what he's been trying to do this whole time. Of course, you know, he, he's very flawed in the way that he tries to do it. But he had good intentions, I, I think. <clears throat> okay, so they go to the devil... What is it? The devil name consultant. Yes, that's something that they have. So yeah, devils don't just come into the world of you know, living uh, with a name. Obviously, public safety safety gives the, gives them the name. What do you suppose the Chainsaw Man Church wanted in the end to play at being Chainsaw Man? Probably, yeah. Of course, I don't have anything to say to this because, I mean, we can say that family's intentions were, you know, oh well, you know, I want to help my sister. Uh, but she also has been trying to control her. But also she wants to stop the prophecy. Uh, so I don't know. I don't really have a good grasp on Femi. Not to mention how much of freedom she's given Batem to just act and do whatever he wants. <clears throat> and then we we come here. With Batem, Fumiko, Denji and Naita. And then just uh, four public safety people come in and try to uh, basically take him in. <clears throat> and they list all the uh, crimes that he's been charged with. And then Fumiko drops this. Why don't you work for public safety next? Bo and Katana are already with us. Yeah, no mention of bomb hybrid. But it is interesting that you know, that they would want to recruit him. Considering I don't think they... They might have given the same treatment to the other three hybrids. I think they just have them prisoners at the moment. But we, we, I don't think we had any word as to what what is going on with them. But it must have been, I don't know, I want to say... Okay, so the hybrids were going to attack at 5 p.m., right? In fact, they had defeated right at the very second that, that you know, that 5 o'clock. But uh, it's hard to say how long it's been since then. I want to say maybe a few minutes at most. Uh, so, because, you know, by in a few pages going to be like oh he's going to be looking at the sunset so yeah it's sunset the most beautiful time of the day yeah so this you know just but I, just the way that he's acting here is just unsettling in on in and of itself but yeah i it did not even cross my mind when i first read it but now it's like oh right the sunset, you know, the last time the sunset was focused on in this, in this, uh, in part two. 
It was when Falling Devil was uh, was introduced. Remember, Asa and Yoyu were just going through the buildings right after you know they got uh, told off by Yoshida, and then that whole thing started at sunset. I'm pretty sure, and then also you know <clears throat> once you know a lot of things happened, and then Fake Soul Man showed up. And was like, oh yeah, you you guys just have to, you know, survive until sunrise. So, I think something very bad is gonna happen. And it's gonna be related to a primal devil coming to Earth once more. And Badem knows it, and that's why he's basically not stalling for time, but just, you know, he's just waiting patiently with no worry, because he knows, you know. These guys are not gonna be able to take him because of a big distraction is gonna happen. <clears throat> then we see the remains of what was the Justice Devil, which yeah, it, it's the same one that uh, Naita saved Tenji and Asa from at the end of the the Falling Devil arc. Which yeah, it still begs the question and. Who were the church members making contracts with? <clears throat> Any chance is the fairness or equality devil? No. His name is Justice. I'd stake my life on it, which begs a question. Even after this devil's death, the Chainsaw Man church followers could use the power to reduce Justice Devil. Is that correct? According to reports, yes, Division 4 killed a follower who used it. Yeah, so the one. So the one that went to the church, well, that was Division 4, but the one uh, that was uh, where Bottom and the other hybrids were, that was Division 7. That case looking like the devil that made contracts with was never the Justice Devil. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, so... I still wonder what the... What the significance of that is in regards to the themes because i was like oh justice you know people with distorted justice and all that <laughs> and then when they when they make a contract with the justice that only becomes even worse and then it's just a very ugly version of what justice is and now it's like well okay that doesn't matter then <laughs> well it kind of does because they they thought it was justice but it was never that in the first place, so maybe that that's what it's supposed to mean. <clears throat> and then Asa is just looking at the news and being like, oh shit. It's just, and we're not exactly being previous to what exactly she's seeing, but we know what she's hearing. And it's like, followers who were illegally contracted with the Justice Devil finding Devil Hunters right before our eyes. Now, she knows this. Well, we know that she knows this. But we don't know if she knows everything. But I highly doubt that's the case. She just goes, Chainsaw Man Church is doing what? And both Yoru and us are very surprised at that. Then, you know, we get knock knock on the door. And Asa doesn't answer it. Uh, it Someone else opens it from outside, so. War Devil, get on the ground with your hands behind your head. And then, yeah, uh, they already had a... Actually, Asa was the one that had this contingency plan, uh, which was to use the whole apartment in case they couldn't use it again. And, you know, people came in trying to attack her. And then the plan was for after Asa turns the apartment into a weapon, then... Yoru takes over and then she fights. And then this, yeah. You become pretty wild compared to when we first met. Yeah, and whose fault is that? I mean, it's true. Like, Yoru 100% has been a bad influence in Asa. And it's because she's always, well, not always, but like constantly has to be in this, you know, survival mode now. Get ready and then boom. A tentacle just obliterates the door and it goes through. And then 
like I would say less than a second, Yoshida comes into an apartment swinging his sword, which I, I wonder is it, yeah it has to be just a regular sword, I don't think it has to be related to a devil power. But yeah, like he enters right before she stop, right before she finishes saying sword. Hell, probably not. It was before she started saying room six, and she doesn't even see him. <clears throat> and then we cut back to bottom, and he's singing kumbaya, which I I wonder about the implication of this in regards to. <clears throat> You know the historical, the, just the history of the song, and whether you know Fujimoto had it in mind when he used it. Oh man! And then we get Nayuta and Denji. Time to home, to go home, young Nayuta. I'm starving. And then we we have them basically juxtaposed with you know, a bottom singing Kumbaya right as the sun is setting and then we have the panel, the big panel of Yoshida just looking looking kind of sad actually, like he's just disappointed in himself, that's what I said like last week but I think he's just, you know, not disillusioned but it's like yeah, he's just, I, I want to say sad because like obviously he cared for Denji and he wanted nothing more than to keep him I mean he's doing this really because of Denji so that Denji can be safe but at the same time well he was doing it but he just couldn't he couldn't be he wasn't able to do that and I don't I like just I don't think that he like I said he has or he like gets any joy from cutting Asa down that he just I don't think he wanted to actually harm her and he wanted her to also stay away from all this man's mess and just you know also live a peaceful life probably it's just but he's now learning you know like being part of public safety he may be able to fight devils but he can't really help the people that he don't want to to stay safe. Now that he's done this, then he might be dooming Asa, you know, to the plan that public safety wants for her, and therefore also dooming Denji by proxy. And he's just, he's just, he looks so done with everything. Oh Lord Kumbaya, and then there goes her arm. Okay, I have no idea how Asa is going to get out of this. She has to run, but obviously Yoro has to take over because, you know, the pain, the physical pain of this, it would just be too much for her to bear. So Yoro has to take over and try to run while also trying to keep Yoshida at bay, which, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But we'll see. I do, the only thing I've been spoiled about 146 is that Katana Man shows up. There's a panel in there with him, but I don't, I have no idea what the context is. <laughs> but I would have never expected to see him so soon again. So I wonder how he's gonna fit in. But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, chapter 146. Oh boy, yeah, the, her arm just dropped to the floor. And the title is Chainsaw Man War. That's not reassuring to know. Shit, Asa is still in, in charge of, of the body. Mm -hmm. Yoshida is just, he's looking away from her. Sorry to do this after you followed my advice. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. He really does feel genuinely ap apologetic. Yeah, because, you know, he told her stay away from Denji and she did she really did like she actually f followed his warning and 
regardless of that, it still came to this. Now, yeah, this even gives more, you know, credit to what I was thinking about Yoshida. Yes. He genuinely feels bad about having to do this. Oh, and he's going for another attack. Come on, Yoru! Like, they're not getting killed here. But then, like I said, what is gonna happen? It has something to do with Vadim, and that's why we're going back to him. The Justice Devil grants contractors the power to transform into the form they desire. Is that really the Justice Devil's powers? That's how, oh, that's how we explained it to them. Aside from the devil's name is no lie. What devil is it? To the form of their desire. Tammy has some ha handy pawns. We contracted followers galore with an extraordinary devil. The devil I contracted them to was? Yes. before we he says that we see like not a silhouette but it's like very sketchy lines like someone moving really fast oh i don't think i'm ready but let's do this fire what wait did he did was that him the one who said fire or was it someone else honestly though if it is the fire devil that's pretty, that's, that has to be pretty strong. Just a fire devil, like, be, like humans have been scared of fire for almost, I, I would, I would be surprised, surprised if that's not a, a primal fear, so. We're also like, how does the fire devil have the power to just grant anyone the form they desire? How, how are those two things related? But then we see a fire get started in a building nearby. And then a guy there just starts to bleed from his forehead. Whoa, no. What? Multiple people are, are getting chainsaws from from their head? Kind of like Denji gets one um, when he's low in blood. What? The hell is happening just what it's not just there it's in multiple places at the same time oh shit oh okay we're going back to the church yeah because it's happening simultaneously then katana and, Go and nail fiend they're, they're also looking at just the church kids turning into chainsaw copies Oh, I know that Katana would get furious seeing this. Chainsaw Man! The Fire Devil has another power. The more contractors, the stronger their power. Although most of them lose control of themselves. What is going on? Oh, this is just a nightmare. Until now, they all took gruesome forms. But they're closer to Chainsaw Man now, don't you think? <clears throat> so the people contracting with Chainsaw Man, not Chainsaw Man, with the, the Fire Devil, basically. They were only supposed to be Chainsaw Man copies? Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, is that... Dangerous hair right right behind bottom with just a bunch of chainsaw people around them. Oh god, I hate this. Yeah, those public safety people are now dead. But why only now? At five o'clock today, large scale mass weddings were held at the Chainsaw Man Church's Chinese and Canadian chapters. They Chainsaw Man Church in Canada and China? We set it up so that they would enter contracts simultaneously with the marriages. It all went as planned. Oh, if all went as planned, we estimated a total of over 350, 
thousand humans with fire devil contracts worldwide. That's insane. What? No, humans is inaccurate. They're all devils now. And now we're kind of seeing what Baden was planning. You know, well, what he told the hybrids at first in uh, Family Burger, you know. There's gonna be a bunch of devils running around and public safety is not gonna be able to, uh, you know, kill them all. So in that, we're going to kill all public safety and civil, civilian, not civilian, uh, private devil hunters. Oh shit. Explosion. Explosion in the tall building there. Both Fumiko and Denji look very concerned over that. In half a year, the great king of terror will descend. Fami and I, we aim to kill the king, ser thereby serving the human race. Oh. Oh, this is, this is what saving the human race looks like. The great king of terror? You believe that stupid crap? It isn't stupid crap. Oh, yeah, Nayuta, I just, yeah, Nayuta never told Denji about the conversation she had with Fami, right? Oof, yeah. Oh, yo, the expression that Denji makes as, as she says that. Fami and I, we can tell, because we're sisters. The Great King of Terror is probably coming for real. We know it because she's our eldest sister. Oh, the last of the horsemen? Whoa, okay, no, yeah, no, no wonder, no wonder. The Death Devil. Oh my god. We're finally getting, like, like a, a substantial, not a substantial, but like, you know, we've heard of the Death Devil before, like, twice. But this is the first time we're getting like, oh yeah, there's a big chance that Death Devil comes here if we don't stop the prophecy. The super duper strongest devil with the name first, most of all. I see now. I know what Pam is trying to do. Her plan to kill the Death Devil. Yeah? Was go, go ahead and share with the class, Naita. Oh, that poor public safety. <laughs> She's going to make everyone terrified of Chainsaw Man and war. To, them, to get them both super duper duper strong. That's... <laughs> oh, wow. Um, That's definitely one way to do it. Jesus, what is this chapter? That was the plan all along. That that was the, the purpose of the church all along. We finally have it. After chapters and cha chapters of build up. The fact that it was just plain as day for Nayuta to figure it out once she saw this. Yeah, yeah. wow. I mean. I can't argue with the fact that <laughs> it is a very logical and probably effective way to uh, go about this. But goddamn, is it horrifying. I mean, yeah, I mean, people were worshipping him, people were being like, oh yeah, you know, a hero. And even though there were some opposing, or opposing sides to, uh, to that. Um, there was definitely, you know, a very low people that were afraid of Chainsaw Man. And, yeah, wow, yep, yeah, Chainsaw Man War. I mean, all the people, yeah, at this point, considering it's not just Japan that this is happening in, it was definitely, you can, you can call it a war. And if this will make Yoru stronger, 
and that shows how she's now that this is happening simultaneously this is how she's gonna be able to fight back against Yoshida oh boy granted it's not like you know it's not instantaneous like that or you know for people's public fear to just make a devil stronger you know you gotta you know simmer down a little bit and just let it you know kicking a little bit but you know kind of like it's basically the opposite of makima's plan uh you know of, you know making people love chainsaw man so that his power will go down oh yeah yeah god i wow oh no oh now now i'm scared for yoshida <laughs> because you know well i doubt yoru like cares really like oh a bunch of people are dying to make me stronger that works for me <laughs> i don't care go ahead now she might be you know annoyed at all the hoops that a family had to jump in and just basically you know lying to her and ma manipulating her for this point to make it work but i don't think yoda will feel really guilt about all the people dying over this so what i'm trying to say is that <laughs> Uh, you know, would not be like, whoa, where is this coming from? Like, ooh, what are the implications of this? This she, she's just gonna take over, and I don't think she's gonna have mercy for Yoshida, basically. And basically, I, I now that you know, the perception of what we, because you know, it was such a, even though know, my, my perception of Yoshida was mostly positive. It, it was basically like there was a lot of you know well what is the truth really you know because there was a lot of mystery around him but now that we know now that uh, he's going out of his own volition to try and protect both Denji and kinda Asa as well Oh man, I really hope. Please no, right? Yoshida wouldn't die in this arc, right? Right? No, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. I said, huffing full copium. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, considering we left off uh, the scene with him in. Asayoru right as he's about to strike her down again. I don't think it's still gonna be in his favor the next time we go back to that. <clears throat> Family has handy bonds where you contracted followers was an extraordinary devil. The con devil I contracted them to was fire. I'm surprised we don't get to see how the actual fire devil looks. Because it must be in Earth if it's just been going around making contracts with people all around the world. But that 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 was just just Jesus coming out of just people all over. This is just it was just very concerning. Of course, of course, Valen was so relaxed and just, you know, there was no urgency uh, within him because he knew what was coming. God damn it. But why only now? <clears throat> Five o'clock today, large scale mass weddings were held at the Chainsaw Man Church's Chinese and Canadian chapters. Yeah. So I don't think he saw coming necessarily that the three hybrids were going to be defeated so easily. 
but you know they already had this as backup and you know this was very definitely a you know a game changer so that made it so like those three getting defeated wouldn't even matter and yeah, I did notice that, you know, none of the chainsaw people are attacking bottom, so I wonder how that works. Is it because he's a hybrid? Like, they recognize him as another devil, basically? But then they're not, I didn't see any of them trying to attack Fumiko, so I, I don't know, really. In half a year, so we still have six months before the death devil tries to come here mm. so we can't stop that we just gotta wait until that happens and then defeat the death devil right then and there so I mean now we need to kill the king purify serving the human race that's wow you just this is this is messed up for sure just using and just basically destroying so many people by making them chainsaws that's your way of saving them but yes you know <clears throat> it's all in the name of the greater good you know it's, it's fine you can sacrifice people as long as you know it's because, you know, we're all doing it so we can save humanity as a whole. Oof. Great King of Terror, you believe stupid crap? Ah, uh, yeah. I still can't believe that Knight hadn't told Denji any of that. I'm mean, to be fair, I doubt they talk about everything, but that, like, that's pretty important. No wonder Denji wasn't really taking it serious. Yeah, like, Naita doesn't know for sure, but like, you know, just she just has Pami and I can tell. Like, this is for real, for real. Like, we, we can just feel that our oldest sister is going to come very soon. From the way that they speak, well, okay. It's just the horsemen are very weird individuals. <laughs> it's something to do with their past. Uh, but as far as we know, I think the control devil has been on Earth, like, you know, constantly for like at least decades. And then just the death devil doesn't give me doesn't give me the impression that it's ever been on Earth before. Then we have Fami, who's just the one that I, that you know from the ones that we've uh, personally met. We don't really know if this is the first time she's been living on Earth constantly because of what's gonna happen and the Yuru is just believing as a fiend because she doesn't really have any better choice super duper strongest civil day but the thing you need to roll what kind of trying to do her plan is to kill the death devil yeah so she's gonna somehow is trying to you know well She's gonna try to, you know, control Denji and uh, Yoru, but for that, you know, first she's trying to make them stronger. Which I feel like, um, she got the wrong order. It should have been be backwards. Like, she should have tried to, well, she kind of tried uh, with the Falling Devil incident of, you know, starving Yoru and then uh, to be able to control her but you know that didn't work so she said well I'll make them stronger and then and then I'll get control of them because I don't think you're gonna 
at least not dangerous. She, she's not going to work with Sammy after doing this willingly. So that's that. So that was my reaction to Chainsaw Man chapter 146. So if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.